Good morning, everybody. So this time I'm coming to you guys with a sit down video because a lot of you have requested a video about Korean skincare and, um, you know, you guys, I've been doing some videos on the laser treatments that I did last winter and I'm actually going to start back, you know, that back up this winter again to kind of finish the whole process. And, um, obviously I've been here for about a year and a month now, and I've got really into the Korean beauty products, and I've tried so many different ones, but I finally have, like, a routine and products that I actually like and that work for me. So, I'm going to tell you guys all the products that I'm currently using I use different products sometimes for um, when the winter comes and when summer comes because during the winter we have a lot of pollution so your skin tends to break out a lot and you need more products <laughs> than in the summertime. Also you know your skin gets dry just like everywhere else when winter comes you know skin gets drier so you need products that are more hydrating but I'm about to show you guys everything I use and again this is just something that works for me if you guys want to try them out you're more than welcome but I suggest just kind of trying out different things and see what works best for your skin this is my little desk where I usually sit and just do my makeup do my skincare routines but here are all my products <laughs> and I am going to explain to you each one and the steps that I take and what I use them for Okay, you guys, so I set up this whiteboard in the back so that you guys can see the products better and it's not so much distractions, but let's start out with in the shower, your face wash. I use an oil-based face wash in the beginning. This is step one. I love this Hemp Dreams product. It... <laughs> For those of you wondering, no, it does not have any that THC stuff in it. And it's just a really good oil-based cleanser. It removes all your makeup. It doesn't have any like um, sweet smells or anything like that. It literally just kind of smells like oil. But it cleans really well and leaves your face really soft. After that, step one, I usually go for the also Hemp Dreams Clay Scrub. Because obviously if you wash your face with oil-based product, your face will still be a little bit kind of oily. So you need to do a scrub afterwards. And this is usually the product I go with. It's really good and it, like it says here, it gently detoxifies also very hydrating great for the winter time but like I told you guys winter here sucks with the pollution so I have proactive not a Korean product obviously <laughs> but this works perfect for me for pimples and stuff like that that you get because of all the pollution here in Korea so I've just know that this product works for me so I keep using it and I usually just bring it out in the winter time. In the summer I don't really use it because I don't have to worry about pimples. If you want to do kind of like the really like detailed Korean um, K-Beauty you know routine, you also need to do a face scrub which this is what this is. And it's just called food therapy and it smells like strawberries it's from skin food it's black sugar and pretty much strawberries chunks and it's just smells delicious and it it's really good for your skin 
I only do this once a week. I don't do this every day. So this just kind of like a once a week thing. This isn't every day, this is once a week. Then after the shower and I'm done with that, then I go for my toner, you know? You guys know about toners. I have the Time Revolution from Misha. I love Misha products. They are amazing. This one right here has worked for me before, so I have been, I just kept up with that one and I've been using that because I tried different ones, but they just, I didn't feel any difference in my skin, so I prefer that one. Also from Misha, the next step would be this one, which is a treatment of from Misha that is almost like an essence. It's very refreshing, and to tell you the truth, I mostly use it in the summertime, but I like to use it sometimes still in the wintertime. It's just, it feels great. Sometimes when I get out of the shower and I don't have time for a skincare routine, I just kind of spray this on my skin, and then, you know, later on I go back and just kind of do the whole, um, you know, routine process, <laughs> but this one is really good. Then we get to this part, which is your emotion. And I also have a time revolution from Misha for nighttime. So the do my toner, essence, and then my emotion. And this one's I do at night. It's really creamy, very hydrating, but it can be really kind of thick. So that's why I do it at night. And then during the day routine, I do the Hemp Dream All Day Moisturizer, which is just hydrating and protecting, so that works out for me better. It's not as uh, thick, so you can wear it during the day and put on your makeup. After that, then we have the serums. I fell in love with this serum at the um, Korean Beauty Expo. It's made out of egg stem cells, and it's just so amazing. Um, you can only use it for 28 days, and then you have to stop for a month. So this time right now, I'm using it, and I'll do it at night. And it's just, I feel the difference in my skin. So I really love it. If you guys want to search it, it's by Abaco. In the daytime, I use the Hemp Green Serum which you know benefits again is moisturizing and hydration which i love and it's not so thick that you can wear it during the daytime with your makeup then we go with the ampule which is by the bee pollen by misha so again i love misha as you can tell so this thing right here though it's really thick so nice and hydrating though and it's just, I use it at night since it's so rich and it can leave your skin very kind of almost a little bit sticky, but it's great because in the morning you wake up and your skin feels amazing. This is kind of the consistency of it. And as you can tell, it's pretty thick. <laughs> But it's really good. So if you guys want to try that product, I really recommend it. And then, of course, we move on to one of our final steps, which is under eye cream. You know, for those eye bags or just ugh, whenever you don't sleep, that's the worst for me. Or whenever there's so much pollution here in Korea, you just out of nowhere get, you know, under eye circles and all of that. So... I usually do this Bio X one, which I like from Tony Molly. It has uh, cell peptides and it's moisturizing and brightening. I use it at night or in the daytime. It's not so thick that you can't use it in the daytime. Just apply a little bit of it. But since I'm currently using the Avaco products, which is the egg stem cell ones, I've been using this one for under my eyes at night. After the 28 days, then though, I will stop and just keep using my one from Tony Molly. 
And of course, you know, you after you do all of that, you cannot go without putting on some sunblock because then you ruin all your, you know, routine. You ruin the whole thing because you have to protect your skin from the sun so that you don't get all those sun damage like I had and I had to get laser treatment to remove them. <laughs> so I really love the, the aloe vera um, line that I believe it's called Holika Holika. <laughs> I believe, yeah, I think that's what they're called. But um, their line of aloe vera is amazing. I like it. Nature Republic also has a line of aloe vera. And I use their facing cleanse, like the cleanser to remove your makeup. I use that from them. And then these are little extra stuff that I use, like I said, like once a week. Like this scrub, you know, that I told you I use once a week. I also do face masks, more like, you know, I use makes masks like three times a week. I got the hemp trim ones, which are the ones that currently I'm in love with. But these are usually my go-tos, which are the snail cream ones. This is the brightening one. This is just a regular snail one. It's like snail mucus. And then this is ginseng one. These are the ones that I always buy. But um, I've been trying this new ones and I freaking love them. <laughs> but these are great. I love them. Then you also have this right here, which is just pretty much for blackheads. You know, I do this like once a month. It's a whole three-step process to remove blackheads and also the last step moisturizes your, um, you know, wherever area you did the, the strip on. Then there are these kind of things, which I love about Korea because they just have everything. My hands get really dry in the, in the winter here, so I use these from the face shop. They're only like a dollar, so I was like, heck yeah, and they leave my hands feeling so nice and moisturized. And then there's these products over here. So I'll start with this one. This is pick collagen and it's in a jelly mask kind of style. So I can do this and it literally says on here that it's, um, it says the firming jelly mask pack contains the ingredients of gold and collagen extract the verb from pig skin. So the only thing I would say is that it does smell bad. <laughs> I don't like the smell of it, but it is really good for your skin. So I try to do this one at least once a month. And then, of course, not Korean, but proactive. I have this for, you know, when I feel like I'm getting a pimple in or something like that. It's just like a spot treatment. I just put it on that. And Korea also has these little pimple patches. When you pop a pimple or anything like that, then you can put this over it and it literally sucks all the junk out of it. Or, you know, for me, I usually pop them. I can't help it. But um, they say not to pop and you can just put it over it. And they come in three different sizes. And these are great. I have noticed that when I put them on, you put them on overnight. I see many people wear them during the day too, but I don't like that. I'm not used to that. So, but um, overnight and then in the morning you wake up and it's really, um, you can really see a difference. The size of your pimple goes way down. And if you just keep using it, you'll notice that it'll go away. But that's it, you guys. That is my Korean skincare routine for the winter time. I will do another one in the summer so that you guys can see the difference. But this is it for now. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you have any questions in regards to any of these products, please let me know in the comments below. And I will answer them for you. Please remember to also subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!